Okay, here right, I guys. Um, Jack here, Craze, GFKX, whatever you want to call me. And today, I'm just going to give you an overview of what Dynamic actually looks like um, in the project file and in the folders like this. So, all of this is what makes up Dynamic, with the exception of these mini videos which are recorded as cinematics for the actual thing. So, yeah, let's uh, get into it. So what I'm going to start off with is the actual intro. Uh, this is the most basic part which I edited. Um, let's take that down to draft quarter. Yeah, I'm just going to scrub through it with the thing, but you can... Yeah, with a the arrow key. You can see it's quite basic but how it works. Uh, what I did is I rendered this bottom bit out and then I composited it in After Effects and you get it looks better textures on top and stuff so this is the most basic part it's really easy to do so let's close that down next we have oh wait no next we should have Smokey's part now if you haven't seen how I edit you're gonna find this hard to see and look at but basically uh, I, I have a really messy project file I cut and edit clips everywhere so, for instance, here to here is one backlog. That's my backlog clip at the beginning. All these little cuts. Um, to, in order to sync it, I find where this is a snare beat here. You can see on the uh, spikes of the music audio, and you have to. You can use velocity packets to sync your clips, but if you're like me, um, you think that looks crap. It always looks bad. The audio always sounds uh, off and the audio can sometimes go out of sync when you use audio packets. So what I do is I split the clips, I drag them to make them longer, I just edit it that way. The only thing is it can be very messy to look at. Like you, most people just be look at this and just throw their computer out the window, they wouldn't know what to do with it. Uh, but if you're cool with that kind of stuff, that's how I sync and I'll make a tutorial on how to sync like me. But yeah, if you don't under if you look at this and you think, "Wow, I don't understand anything," you won't be able to edit like me. You'll be able to edit. I have my own edit style. This is how I edit. So it's just how you like to do it. Um, so I think that's about it for Smokey's part. This is what it looks like. Um, these are the different layers where I applied Twitch and After Effects. I rendered them out and brought them back in. After Effects, what's this? Oh, it's just an audio layer. I've had a little effect I tried which turned out quite well. But yeah, apart from that, that's about it. It's quite basic. Don't need that. That's the clip you never saw. But yeah, that's Smokey's part. Quite basic, quite easy. Yeah, let's go move on to the next part. So here we have Carbon's part, which... Yeah, uh, by this point my computer was starting to not like HD files, so... Uh, here's the fir whole first part rendered out which is actually Smokey's bit and then next to it we have Carbon's part. Now quite a lot of people are asking me how I did the shotgun transition and it's very easy. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is very easy. So here's the part, all you do is you go on the uh, thing, all I have is a chroma key on there, that's it. Well at least I think I did. Oh yeah it's a black screen behind it but all I do is chroma key. That's it. At least I think I did. Yeah. You'll see here, and then if I put the chroma key on, yeah. All you do is chroma key out, and these are the settings I use for a chroma key on a black background. Uh, I did did add a slight levels, but I removed it because I rendered it out again. And I, there was a slight Gaussian blur just to make the edges uh, not look as harsh. So yeah. Like I said, for me, I find this stuff quite basic and repetitive, but some people might look at it and think, well, what the hell is going on here? Um, it's just getting used to it. Like, again, you can actually see where I cut the clips. This, um, and paste, and, you know, redone them to make it all fit into sync. I scrub down a bit. Uh, short here, you can see the audio spike here between these bits. And yeah, that's what a, that's what a shot will be. It's a tedious process, but it does have good results in the end. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, Carbon's part. 
And then we come to the final part, which is this, which is all of it collaborated. It all gets uh, rendered out, which is why the quality isn't amazing, but it makes it less laggy in Vegas. Um, yep. Here's the uh, credits, a bit of color correction on that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's the credits. And at the end you have this here, which is the Dynamic HD title screen, which all of you guys seem to love, which I'm happy with. But I find this, this kind of stuff, you know, what I did in here is quite basic, but it's very repetitive and there's a lot of things which some people would find hard. But I'd say anybody can edit like this. It just, it takes quite a while. It's quite a tedious process and yeah. Uh, it just takes practice. I mean, I'm not very good, and people like Operator Perry didn't like it because of the way I edit, and if he saw this, I know he would have a heart attack because he likes a clean project file. But yeah, here's the 3D text. Um, I render out as a PNG, and I put it into After Effects and then take it across. I don't know, I don't know what else you guys really want to look at. You have the Countdown Cinematic, which I... this is a AVI demo. Uh, these I didn't use, this is for another project, but yeah. And you have ones like this, which is very nice. I thought it was quite a nice cinematic. But yeah, um, yeah, I think that's about it. That's how it looked. That was the stuff which was in it. This is all the uh, render outs. Uh, if you want to have a look at the border quick, I'll open it up. Yeah, it might take a while to load. I've just had opened up five Vegas files with HD clips in computer doesn't like it, even mine. Uh, so this is the border here. Uh, it's the same one I used for Optic Hex actually. Uh, yep. Uh, that's the text there, with some effects on it. Uh, what else do I have? What are these? Oh, these are just uh, grunged up bits on top. Some vector lines I drew. And then you get to this bit here around the edge. Uh, I don't know, that's about it. I think that's everything I used and everything you guys would actually be interested in using and what, looking at and seeing how I did it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed just looking at what it looked like for me and how long. I'd say it's about a 20 hour job to edit all this and to record it all and stuff. But yeah, remember to come sub me. When I get 2k subs, I'll do a syncing tutorial on how to sync like me, but until then, you're going to have to wait it out and tell your mates to sub, because I'm a sub -hole and I don't, don't deny it. So yeah, cheers for watching. Uh, see you guys next my next tutorial when I get 2k subs. Yeah, peace.